Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I wanted to share how I cut and assembled these cards. So I set this up with the Silhouette Electrostatic Bed with the Cameo 5, and there are links in the description below for additional information on everything that I'm covering in this, as well as the supplies I used. The electrostatic bed works off an electrostatic charge, and those pieces are just popped out. They are not stuck to adhesive. So here is the second part. I'm cutting out the centers to the flowers. What you're going to notice here when I go to take it off the mat is due to the design and all the little edges and bits, when I remove this from the electrostatic bed, it did cut perfectly and I just had to simply remove those and pop those out. They didn't stay on the bed. And then I set this up to cut my card base after I had sketched on it. So I also have a link in the description below for additional information on how I set this up with the sketch action for that new sketch adapter in the Tool 2 housing. And then I had it cut out around my card base and I have all my pieces ready to assemble. You do see some leaves there that I had from a previous project that I'm going to be using. And I'm using these paper shaping tools in order to add dimension. Inks are also a great way to make a element on your card pop. So just simply by inking the edges of your pieces of your card or your whatever you're working with. It can be a scrapbook title, it can be different parts of your project. Ink can add a effect and give it a unique look. So I'm just inking all those edges with a contrasting color and then I'm going to take my paper shaping tools and I'm going to start shaping these flowers. I love creating paper flowers because they do not have to be perfect. Flowers in nature are not perfect. They have bug bites, they have chips out of their leaves, they have all kinds of different things. So your one flower does not have to look exactly the same as the next flower. So I just did all of those, embossed those, gave them texture, gave them a unique look, and then I just started arranging things onto my card and seeing how it's going to fit. I like to do a dry fit to see how that's going to look and see, you know, each one of these cards, the sketching is a little bit different, so your end design is going to look a little bit different. I glued the center in with this Scotch fast dry glue on a precision um, tip bottle. And then I just added those flowers and I took leaves that I had from another project and I'll link that. It's a new class that I have out available in the description below. I had these extra leaves I had cut for those projects that I am sharing in that class. So I just grabbed those and I started arranging those and playing with those. If it didn't fit, I just kind of cut it off and added it in there. And each card's just gonna look a little bit different. And that's the beauty of handmade. So I just finished this up, added a few more leaves, and here's a look at the finished cards that I created with this one flower file. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Everything is linked in the description with additional information as well as a new class on my Teachable site. Thanks for watching and have a great day.